I fought up to this nigga mama crib last night and bumped gum on, nigga. <laughs> I pulled up to this, hey, you know that address he was trying to get y'all in his interviews? I pulled up to this nigga mama crib and bumped gum on, nigga. With the straps out, blowing big dope. Damn. How you gonna pull up to a nigga mama crib, though? <laughs> like, like it, it should be like like some kind of boundaries on this like beef shit. You, you, you just can't pop up to a nigga mom crib. Now, it'll be worse if he actually did something with his mom, which, you know, that actually Ooh. happens to... Shout out! I was about to say shout out to LeBron James. But, Dang. You, know, that's just, you know, it's just some things that happen. Yeah, but, man, I mean, that's yeah, crazy. I mean, when you start involving family, like shit start getting. Yeah, serious, that like, goes you know beyond man. gang and everything else. So when he bought his mom and said that he was out there, um, pretty much with a gun, that's a whole. That's a whole other story. Ball like, that's, game, <laughs> like, that's something that you don't even play with, man. Right. So but, it's like it, it. Then with like all the allegations, were like, yo, he's you know he's rapist and all this. He ain't really about what he talk about. He's you know he he got writers all this kind of stuff like he's he's really hitting them with like back to back to back to back, back to back like, to back man he's throwing jabs he's throwing kicks he's throwing punches he's throwing everything yeah and what's crazy is like he gets up to ten percent of what the other guy makes how so because he like he gave him the beat or whatnot I don't know what it is but I remember uh, oh they, they, they he was saying pretty much he got a contract he gets ten percent so it's crazy because like what is his what is he doing with this you know he's he's kind of damning him. But then he's not getting paid off of it, so it's like one of the things where you should let this this gummo song pop off. And that's probably and what they're trying to do. Afterwards. Like this beef, if they both make money off it, you know, hey, it probably. Because yeah, I mean, I, I, honestly, you know, record labels and everybody does that type of shit. You know what I mean? Even when you know Nas and Jay were beefing, I'm pretty sure somebody was making money on both sides. You know, Nas and Jay, y'all probably don't know nothing about that. You know, y'all young niggas out there, like, damn, that's. Yeah, I think everybody shit. knows about it though. Everybody knows about Nas and Jay Z. Everybody. <laughs> that was two thousand. Some of these niggas was born in two thousand. Damn, but I mean it's just a legendary. But you know, just going forward, so we don't get trapped in that. Like it's just one of the things that's like crazy, man. So like it's interesting because how this all started is Trippy Red got jumped by uh six nine and blue 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 blood. But all this comes for trying to vouch mm -hmm. and disrespectful. And he's one of them guys, like I said in the other video. You know, if you throwing that word, Mad. if you throwing that's that word slang. around so much, you know, can you imagine how disrespectful he is on all other levels? Like the guy who got him started, he sent people to get him jumped, and now the guy mm. who got jumped is upset. Oh yeah, yeah. So when people are doing hotel, stuff like right? that, yeah. So when people are doing yeah. stuff like that, that kind of tells you about their character and like what type of person that they are. Um, refer back Crazy. to that video whenever I said that. So when people are doing certain things, man, watch how they move and it kind of lets you know who they are as a person. Now, hopefully, this doesn't turn into anything else. I mean, you already got people yeah. getting jumped, already got people getting beat up, you know what I mean? You know, unfortunately, if this was like Chicago, you know, you already know how this shit would have turned out already. So hopefully it doesn't get to that point. Hopefully they can kind of nip it in the butt. Maybe it's just like a rat beef thing. Man, I just know, think what they need to do is like just trying to... straight up like have a just Royal Rumble. And just if it's a jump in, have it in the right. ring, yo, throw this up on oh, pay-per-view. If we can do it with uh, shit, Stop Soulja the violence. Boy. Stop the violence. Nah, ha no, Stop keep the, the violence, violence. No, but keep no, it in the can't. ring. Keep it controlled. I want some controlled mayhem <laughs> in a ring and people just beat each other auto. up. Just grant that auto in the ring. Because if we're going to jump, just man, pop up. you know, just jump. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? Be, be, be some real about your jump, but have it be announced. Like, you run into the stage, you know, they know who you are, and then the fight starts. Which that, that that shit would be interesting if they really just start making like people who obviously have a problem with each other. Like even Nas and Jay Z was yep. talking about doing like a boxing match for charity. You know, if they kinda bring that thing back or bring it to the forefront, that yep. would be kinda Or actually finish it. They can get paid off that too. I mean, yeah, if y'all really yeah. wanna do that, I mean turn this shit into fucking Celebrity boxing. Old time slavery fucking Or that I don't even want to get in all that. Or that. that. Well, man, that was just our reaction. Don't forget to subscribe. Niggas Don't crazy. forget to like our shit, man. Check out Educated Freedom. Check it out, man. We just got these dope shirts in just for you, man. Word, man. And um, two educated guys. Peace. Peace.